Hi guys, in this video we will learn how to automatically scan a single page for vulnerability assessment in Zap. Before we proceed further, please understand the following caution. It is very important to note that you should only use Zap on your own applications or the ones you have permission to test. Let's uh, get started then. First of all, ensure that your browser is proxying through the Zap. So as you can see, we are proxied through localhost at port 8081. So if I go to the proxy proxy, it is Zap is enabled. If I go into the options and edit it, you can see it is going through 8081 port. So after ensuring that, if we just go to our Mithilde website, which is the test website we are using for this tutorial, and let's visit one of the pages in this application, which is the login page. And as you navigate through the application, the site tree view is built. So let's first of all teach zap how to use a page so for that just type anything in here which is not correct and press login obviously it will come account doesn't exist but zap now knows that this page has got a post request and how to use it in order to automatically scan this page if you know the page inside tree that's fine otherwise you can click on the post in the information tab right click and select show in sites tab so it will highlight the corresponding URL in the sites tab let me maximize this screen now so that you can see everything clearly now in order to attack it right click on the url select attack and click on the active scan here you will see the starting point has been selected as page equal to login.php we will leave the policy as default and click on start scan you will see a new tab appears on the information window which is active scan and you will see the progress these two buttons will become enabled pause or stop and as the issues are being found they are being logged into the alerts window so as you can see it has found cross-site scripting as one of the issue so you can click on it and you will find more details on the right hand pane also it will highlight the corresponding place in the workbench window so once the scan is complete you will see all the messages which have been sent and in the sent messages here you will see the number of requests sent and any new alerts found so this was a quick video to show you how to scan a single page in zap for vulnerability if you haven't done already please do subscribe share and like the video that really encourages me to create more videos thank you